What's that smell? It's car exhaust and grass. I think that's car booting. Let's go. Hey guys, back from holiday. So I'm going to do the voiceover for this car boot that I went to. Uh, this was the early May bank holiday in the UK, which is like the first weekend in May. It's the beginning of the car boot season and there's blood in the air and sweat and tears and guts laying strewn about. And, ah! So there was loads of traffic. Um, we finally get in and yeah, I'm already tired. Uh, the wife was away on a business trip, so it's just me and the baby for this one. And obviously that means I have to push a pram around a field that's only just been mown and hasn't been walked on all winter. Um, so, what do we have here? This is an amazing find. First thing, first table. Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. Um, the oldest, possibly one of the oldest games that I found at this entire car boot. Uh, right there. And then there's a, a load of Xbox stuff. And Xbox stuff, that really is the story of the car boot, is the Xbox 360. That is the domineering, dominating, manly force of the car boot sale this time. Um, see, another uh, split second on the 360 and then a Civilization game just below that. Uh, we're going to see loads of those. Um, loads of 360s here. And, you know, it kind of gives you an idea of uh, really what uh, the 360 kind of is. Because I'm not seeing Playstations. I'm not seeing Nintendo stuff very much. I'm seeing a lot of 360. Um, like you can just on top of the speaker there. You might have spotted some more 360 games. And it just kind of means that the 360 maybe was more sort of as more of a toy. I don't know, it's more something that a passing fad that people weren't that interested in. Oh, down here on the ground, you can see there's an Atari flashback. And I'll swing back to that in a minute, in a second. There, and there's like a Warhammer 40K thing as well, which I don't didn't really even notice at the time. But yeah, there's an Atari flashback there. It's one of the um, all-in-one joystick ones. Um, and uh, with composite video out, terrible piece of crap. And I didn't even bother to inquire on the price. Uh, uh, in the corner of my eye I spotted something black and oblong so I assume, thought maybe you know is that something interesting and it wasn't it was a VCR uh, oh we fit active stuff practically still factory sealed I mean this that person must have got that for Christmas and literally never touched it uh, ping pong ping pong set anyone there's a ping pong set down there uh Always dubious of car boot sale meets. I don't know something about it. I don't know what it exactly it is. It puts me off. Uh, top tip, Matt's top tip. Have a rummage through these boxes because God knows what you're going to find. I mean, like mostly it's cables and old um, modems from internet providers that don't exist anymore. Or maybe like a powered SCART switch or a remote control for a Skybox. Mostly it's that stuff. But one day, who knows, you might find a Neo Pocket Neo Geo or you might find one of them Turbo Graphic 16 handheld things for God's sake you know you gotta look you'll never find anything if you don't look so here we come across what is possibly the most interesting uh, find uh, at the car boot other than obviously Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System and that is this Nintendo GameCube uh, that's on this table here now you know I've spotted something good I've spotted something interesting I've got to play it sly got to play it play it down play it I've got to be you know sneaky <laughs> sneaky people don't don't give away the fact that I might be interested in it oh uh, look yeah there it is oh the GameCube the GameCube wow oh, does it have its wires does it have its accessories does it have it, it does they're in the box they're in the box oh my god look there's a thing that I don't care about and then there's some controllers and uh, there's three controllers and some wires Let's find out how much it cost. I don't give a shit if it works. Take your 40 quid and stick it up your ass. Not paying 40 quid for that. Um, yeah, this guy had some old board games that I'm, I, I must be absolutely in the... Uh, uh, car boot zone because I'm really charging around this one and I'm missing all kinds of stuff that I'm seeing now look at Disco Dan and his fucking um, disco equipment you know Mobile Disco Dave's gone out of business 
he's trying to flog his records on his turntables it's very sad and there's loads of cool stuff there's like a headset and a microphone and stuff and like, I just didn't see any of it I just breezed over it I was right in the I was right in the video game zone I had it in my head that um that I was going to find something really good here like it was the first one of the, the season there was going to be like a complete in box ZX Spectrum 128k or there was going to be a complete in box you know Neo Geo or something but fuck off what's there uh, arcade stick sort of a dual flight stick with a with a throttle on it was was good but you know and it's now getting hot uh ps4 game you know rare to see a ps4 game at a car boot unless of course it's a fifa game in which case it might as well be given away for free um there's a crt there that i completely didn't even see yeah that's what i'm saying I'm, I'm in the car boot zone i'm saying in my mind like I can remember what I was thinking. I was thinking, I'm going to find something really cool. There's going to be something really cool. First car boot of the season, you know. So, uh, Catch Mag. Catch Mag? What the hell is Catch Mag? Like, I still don't know. I opened up. There's some kind of counters and stuff. It's like, obviously, bits missing. Or, you know, yeah, there's always bits missing. I mean, that's what the, the 3D printer, I don't know if you know this. It's an absolute 100% true fact excuse me the 3d printer was invented to replace parts on board second hand board games that had gone missing so on the ground there was a metal chest that i didn't even look in you know like there could have been anything in that chest what's wrong with me 360 games complete thief complete set of fifas from 2014 to 2017 a guitar hero guitar a you know this one was good. This, this kid had obviously, has obviously had enough of all of this stuff and was trying to sell it. Probably money to get an Xbox One or buy some Xbox One games. Um, still not really got control of the glasses on, you know, Enter the Matrix on the 360, I can see that. But like, yeah, I, I keep forgetting that the glasses aim higher than my eyes because, you know, if you put your head down and you look down, you'll move your eyes and you won't necessarily move your head. Um, yeah, so there were some PS2 games uh, some good ones there um you know, metal Sid gear solid 2 omni musha that's how you say it wipeout fusion there's a they're all good games time crisis 2 good, absolutely nothing wrong with that down in the bar oh star trek encounters i didn't even see that the getaway i have fond memories of the getaway the getaway was a really ambitious game where they wanted to kind of do a gta in london like a gritty sort of you know London based sort of gangster game and just the gameplay in it was tedious uh, on the table there was also like a driving wheel obviously the only reason I've come here is to look at the Leo Sayer album you know and I didn't get, even get a good shot of it so um, yeah sad times I just like I said before I got that I got that fever I got that you know car boot fever uh, this guy had a 360 and by this point if someone even handed me a 360 I'd just drop it on the ground I'm so not interested uh, there's a G.I. Joe uh, plane there Harrier so um, I think there's some inbox action figures as well and then the guy next to it had a, uh, some Playmobil stuff which is pretty interesting and then these old die cast tanks and, and, and lots of fun stuff and there, there is stuff like this all over the place it's just I kind of didn't wasn't really looking at it and looking for it which is a bit of a shame because um, I really would have got got good shots of that stuff and that's kind of things you know I'm looking for but sometimes you just get in that video game mode you just want you want to find Sega Mega Drive with a load of games for a tenner you know you just want you know it's there PS3 games don't get really get a good shot of these but there's quite a few um, again it's sports games all over the shop uh, UMD video PSP UMD video discs is interesting there's uh, no games just the UMDs you know and I had a I had a PSP I, ha I still have I have a PSP go and I use it obviously it's hacked I use it for playing uh, emulators on uh, I had an original PSP as well before that a few years before that and maybe I bought like one or two videos but like watching videos on the PSP not an optimal experience I have to say you know tiny little screen hurts your eyes uh, this is a scale electrics or slot car uh, knockoff thing it looks interesting 
Uh, I've mentioned on other videos I'm into slot cars or I was, well, I always will be, have a little collection of them. Um, big stack of games here, more PSP games, I think there's a Ratatouille uh, game and then there's some PCCD games and Xbox 360 and the obligatory FIFA uh, 15 which I think was actually distributed by the government to everyone's homes, so everyone got a copy of FIFA 15. Uh, so I spot this 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 uh, sort of patch and there's a couple of boxes full of games here but there's also a really irritating group of people who decide they want to have a conversation uh, right next to everything and like this woman right here in the dress it's like get, go away and I think at some point she just realizes because oh, oh sorry are we in the way yes you are in the way get out of the way I'm trying to rummage I'm trying I'm looking desperately for like an MSX 2 PC computer thing I'm looking for that I know it's here somewhere it's in this box I'm gonna find it but you're in the way you're stopping me from getting in the box what I found in the box was um, some Xbox 360 controllers without the battery packs yeah these weird like aftermarket batteries which are, like you could charge over um, mini USB um, so you didn't need the uh, charging cable and then just you know just fuck this yeah fuck it that's pretty disappointing I mean a lot, a lot of games there Xbox 360 games uh, one Sega Master System game um, nothing really from pre 2005 I was really saying so sad yeah but there's other car boots there's, there's the whole year this is only like one of the first so we're gonna find some good stuff i know it if you found the video useful please um like and subscribe to it uh follow us on facebook and twitter at 16bitbench and uh yeah i'll see you next time bye